Hello guys, well, well, good evening as well. Uh, today I'm just going to answer a question, and this particular question is from Francis John Gerizzo. Well, I hope that's how you pronounce it anyway. Have I got it wrong? You know, sorry. Can the ear pads on these One Audio A70s be replaced? So to answer your question, yes, the ear pads can be replaced if need be. So if you have indeed worn them out, just follow these simple instructions. So all you've got to simply do is just get a coin. I'm using this uh, 2p coin from the UK just now. And insert it behind the disc on the back of the ear pad itself. So there's a hard disc behind. Try it all the way around, you can hear the clips go around very gently because you don't want to break anything. Nice and gently, slow, slow, and there you go. So, yeah, the ear pads themselves. Okay, these particular ones they come placed up on the discs from the rear, so these ones don't come with the plastic unit themselves so when you buy replacement ones you basically are just buying the material be hard to find replacement ear pads that do come with the discs that will fit directly into these slots it's not universal after all you may be able to get them from one audio themselves i should think you should but if you just want to replace the ear pads then that's all you've got to do so now on its own as you can see, we've got the AirPad back disc. The AirPad itself, it does come with this uh, foam filter already built in. Now, if you want replacements, you have to get one with this lined material to the rear. It's easy really, when you buy replacements, you can just insert a little hole with a little uh, knife. All you got to do is place that back disc into the lining of the AirPad itself, stretch it out, pulling it around the back disc and once it's lined up, you can see the ridges where the clips are laid. You can simply just get a knife and just do a little slice and then push it through. Now, these are an oval type ear pad. Most ear pads should fit, but make sure you get the exact size. Now, the exact size of these ear pads are in the video description down below. You can have a look if you want. And to place the ear pad back, it's just a matter of clipping into place. So, gently again, slowly, slowly does it. Clip it into place, round. And there you go. Now, I do wish I had some spare ear pads just to show you guys how to insert new ear pads. But let me just show you guys that you can indeed swap the ear pads also on the Studio Pro C's. But the ear pads on these Studio Pro C's are slightly different. So what you want to do is just grab the material and you want to just pull them off the disc from the behind. It's nothing like the uh, A70s where you can simply undo the disc from behind. If you do try and take the disc off, you will definitely break the back disc and your headphones will be now damaged. Do not take these tamper-proof screws out. That is not the best way because when you <laughs> want to place the ear pad on, you won't be able to get the screws back into place, will you? So, nope, that's the wrong way to do it. Tamper-proof means that they're coated in black. So when you're tampered with them, paint will come off and it will void your warranty. If you take these discs off, it will be susceptible to breaking. There's only very, very fragile wires behind for the speaker on the back of this uh, back disc unit. This is just an example of what not to do. So no, there's no easy way about it. What you do have though, is this nice little slot just here. Now this is where you start to put the replacement ear pad into place. So grab the material from behind. Yes, you want to follow it in the direction of the slope first. Place the material on. Doesn't matter which way you do it, you can simply slide the uh, ear pad around. Get that letter R straight and correct later. Then I just like to use a coin just to slide it in and insert it very, very gradually. There's no rush in this. If you rush it, you will have problems later on. Now place it all the way around. I'm nearly halfway done. When you come to the end, it should get a bit more tighter. So make sure as you're doing this, you're just stretching it around. So pinch it behind. Yeah, it's rolled on. Now you can get a tool for this, but you know, we're just winging it today. Just to make sure that's in. And all you've got to do now to make sure that it's all 100% on, we need to make sure that the letter R is vertical. So what you're going to do is you're going to go round, you're not going to go back, you're going to go round, 
pushing firm let's get that letter R correct and there you go yeah it took around five minutes to place this air pad in place but they are indeed replaceable again don't take off that back disc if you try to you will definitely break the studio pro c's so yeah that's it basically i hope that answers the question these a70s are pretty much straightforward however you want to do that it has got a matching headband if you do buy replacement air pads that are aftermarket you will not get the air pads to match the top of the headband unit but yeah guys i'd like to thank a few of my subscribers thanks for the nice comments i'm going to leave a few on the screen just now thanks a bunch i do like the support and if you would like to support this channel just now like some of these guys just here please make sure you like this video today make sure you subscribe making sure yes you hit that bell notification option so you guys will stay updated on all my new uploads now you can go ahead and see the full review for these one audio studio pro c's or these one audio a70s right now links for those particular two reviews will be at the end of this video so yeah guys i hope to see you guys real soon stay safe and thanks for watching peace